Ideally, town elders would prefer teenage students not to get pregnant in the first place. Alas, unplanned teen pregnancies are more common among Hispanics than in any other group in America. Alas is an exclamation like, oh, or wow, but instead you say alas. And what it means is a moment of sadness or lament lamentation over usually something bad that happened, uh, typically in the form of regret, oftentimes something that happened in the past. It can also express sorrow, disappointment, and woe, and um, it can also express regret about the future, too. Uh, today, most people don't say alas, they say unfortunately, regrettably, or some other suggestion of regret, alas, is considered to be a little bit old-fashioned. But you also have to figure that people back in the olden days, they had a lot of regrets, so uh, a shorter word to help them express all those regrets was uh, probably in order. The original meaning of the word comes from French, the word lassitude, which shows weariness. So part of the idea of alas is that you're tired because of these sad things that happen, and you're expressing your tiredness as well as your sadness. I had a friend years ago, he had a very, very serious illness, and he was uh, gonna die. So I used to go visit him, and then uh, alas, he died very sad. A few weeks ago I went on this interview with this company that I really liked and I was really psyched. I really wanted to work for these people real badly and then uh, wrote them a thank you letter and uh, they never even called me back. I was really hoping that they would call me back for a second interview but alas they never called me back. Ideally, town elders would prefer teenage students not to get pregnant in the first place. Alas, unplanned teen pregnancies are more common among Hispanics than in any other group in America. ESL-FullSteamAhead.com